But first, a 93-year-old man is murdered and his son is under arrest. Deputies thought it was a deadly home invasion. Now, they believe the victim's son actually killed him. We first told you about this one on New Year's Day. Walter Farley was found shot to death inside his North Lakeland home. At that point, again, deputies thought it was a home invasion robbery. Local 6's Kimberly Houck joins us now live. And Kimberly, what caused deputies to turn their sights to his son? Well, they say the son's story just never really added up. They continued questioning him, and then, the, and then today they say he finally broke down and admitted to gunning down his very own father. Deputies cuff and walk a man they say murdered his own father in cold blood. Did you kill your father? Nothing but silence. But earlier today, police say 63-year-old Robert Farley had plenty to say. It's bizarre and always has been bizarre. I've been in law enforcement for a lot of years. How does someone live 63 years of their life without being a criminal, then decide to commit a cold-blooded, vicious murder. A murder, Farley says, happened after he left his wife sleeping in a hotel New Year's Eve night, then went back to his 93-year-old father's home, and they began arguing. He told his father that he was going to leave his wife because she was exceptionally ill. The argument quickly escalated, turning deadly. Detectives say the son shot his father four times at close range, killing him instantly. Then they say he changed his clothes and tried to cover it up by staging a burglary. He left with valuable items from his father's home. Earlier, divers searched a nearby lake where Farley says he threw the gun he used to kill his father. Deputies say this is nothing short of premeditated murder, and one neighbor says he's not surprised. I kind of thought that the whole time, um, just because this is a quiet neighborhood. And to have a random act of violence like that, it just seemed weird. Police say after the son killed his father, he went back to the hotel where his wife was sleeping. The next morning, they went back to his father's home, found him dead in the hallway. Then the son called police, and again today, he told police he admitted to killing his father. Reporting live, I'm Kimberly Houck, Local 6. Hard to wrap your head around this one, Kimberly. How's the uh, search for the weapon going? Well, they searched that lake for several hours today, and they indeed found that weapon. Laura. All right, good. Thank you, Kimberly.